Saturday night storm left northwest Vermont caked in ice, including Jennifer Wood's car. I need gas and I can't get into my gas tank. It's frozen. My car is completely frozen. You didn't get gas before the storm, huh? I did not, unfortunately. <laughs> While the ice storm meant more work for some, like Jennifer, kids like Naomi were left amazed. We woke up in the morning and all the power was out and we were like, whoa! And we went upstairs and tons of branches in the lawn. It's the first ice storm she's seen, since this was the most significant to hit since the devastating 1998 storm. Even though this one wasn't as bad, emergency crews were still busy. And Naomi, her brother Eddie, and father Tim decided to say thank you. We were out getting food and we saw the fire department out, so we got them some lunch and uh, we're going to go drop it off. We got 16 sandwiches, um, three bags of Lay's chips, and four liters of soda. We just thought, you know, they, they were doing something and they were probably hungry, so they need lunch too. Nearly three quarters of an inch of ice, enough to take down this huge limb behind me. Fortunately, this one missed power lines. Not everyone was so lucky. We've got a lot of down trees because of the weight of the ice. We're running into a lot of stuff that's kind of off the beaten path. For much of Sunday, about 20,000 customers were without power in northwest Vermont. And some may still lose power as limbs keep bending. It'll be ongoing until the ice melts from the branches and everything lightens back up again.